Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on solving quadratics by completing the square. This is an A-level maths cast for the core one module. And before you watch this video, you need to make sure you've watched completing the square lesson one and lesson two, because we're going to be using what we've learned there in this video. So let's have a look at our question. The question says, by completing the square, solve x squared plus 6x minus 2 equals 0. So we're going to complete the square, basically because we can't factorise this one. So completing the square is a good way of um, solving it, finding the x values which will make this equation 0. So let's have a look. I need to complete the square. Well, if we remember from the first video, the way we complete the square is we look at the middle x bit, and that says plus 6x. So we know that in the brackets, we're going to have x plus 3, because we have to halve this 6 here, squared. That will be, be the first bit. And then uh, when we um, expand this out, we will have a plus 9 at the end. Well, I don't want a plus 9 at the end, so we put take away 9 there. And then we look at what we do want. We want this take away 2 equals 0. So we've completed the square. If you're a bit confused how to do that, make sure you watch the completed the square lesson one, which shows you how to do that properly. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify it. So we'll have x plus 3 squared minus 9 minus 2 will give us minus 11 equals 0. So now that I've completed the square, at this stage here, we have completed the square, and we just need to use it to solve. So what we do to solve is I'm trying to find x on its own. So your first step is to take this minus 11. Let's get rid of the minus 11. So we need to add 11 to both sides. So when I add 11 to both sides, I will get x plus 3, and that's all squared, equals 11. I've added 11 to both sides. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this squared here. So I'm going to square root both sides. So when I square root this side, I'll get x plus 3, and then I'll get the square root of 11. Now remember, when you square root 11, you need to put the plus or minus at the front. So last step to find what x is, we just need to get rid of this plus 3. So x equals, um, I'm going to have to take away 3 from both sides. So I will get plus or minus square root 11, take away 3. So the two answers I'll get there, because there's a plus and minus at the front, one of my answers will be x equals plus the square root of 11, take away 3. And the other answer will be minus the square root of 11, take away 3. So we have two answers to this question, which are here. And the way we found them is just by completing the square and then solving the equation we get. Well, let's have a go at one more example to see if you can do this. So the second question is x squared minus 4x minus 5 equals 0. And we want to solve this by completing the square. So, same method as we just said. We've got to start by actually completing the square. So, the bit in the middle is a minus 4. So, it'll be minus 2, which goes at the end of my bracket. So, it'll be x minus 2 squared. Well, when I expand this double bracket out, the minus 2 times minus 2 at the end will give me a plus 4. And I don't want that plus 4, so we're going to put a takeaway 4 there. And then what I do want is this takeaway 5 at the end. And that equals 0. Again, if you're a bit confused how we did that, make sure you watch the first lesson on completing the square. Now I'm just going to simplify it a little bit. So I'm going to get x minus 2 squared. Well, minus 4 minus 5 will give us minus 9. And that equals 0. So at this stage, I have completed the square, and I just need to solve it to find what my x values are. So what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to add 9 to both sides. So when I add 9 to both sides, I will get x minus 2 squared equals 9. Well, now what I need to do, um, get rid of that square squared there. We're going to square root both sides. So x minus 2 equals, don't forget your plus and minus, the square root of 9. Well, this one's interesting because I actually know what the square root of 9 is. The square root of 9 is 3. So I can write x minus 2 equals plus or minus 3. And now all I'm going to do is this minus 2, going to take it to the other side. So we're going to add 2 to both sides. 
So x equals plus or minus 3, add 2. So I've got two answers again. My first answer will be x equals plus 3, plus 2, which I know 3 add 2 is 5. My second answer will be minus 3, add 2, because of this plus and minus in front. Uh, well, minus 3, add 2 will give us minus 1. So my two answers are 5 and minus 1. So I've gone through two examples there of how to solve a quadratic equation by completing the square. Again, make sure you've watched the first two completing the square videos to make sure you understand all the steps. And here are three practice questions for you to have a go at. Good luck.